guys, it's ugh. Hey guys, it's Emmy the Instrumentalist, and today we're going to be carving a pumpkin. And this is my first ever carving video, so this will be fun. It'll be very exciting. So first, I have my pumpkin carving kit with its little scoop. Whoops, scoop. This thing. Don't like that. And these things. And I'm not exactly sure how they all work, but we were we we're gonna figure it out together. It's the pan I got to put my pumpkin in. First, I have to get this top off. I can't get it in. Okay. How do people carve it? This is so hard. Oh, there we go. So, what do you guys do for traditions? during Halloween, like, actually really hard to do with just a tiny saw. I don't know how people usually do this. Maybe their pumpkin's not this big. So I know one weird story I had from when I was younger from Halloween. So my family and I, we used to, well not used to, I guess we still buy candy to give away on Halloween. And so we went out to eat that night and we had a boxer and a Boston Terrier at the time. And for some reason, our boxer decided to get into our bowl of candy we left on the floor and so we come home, you know, after we're all happy, and I'm like, oh, I'm so excited, I can go trick-or-treating or whatever. And we get back, and literally the bowl is just turned over. There's candy wrappers all over the floor. And needless to say, we had a very sick dog that night, and we had to go buy more candy. So that's one of my Halloween stories. I used to go with a friend to like trick-or-treating, and we went in this giant group but they always walk too slow for me because I'm like, I want to get the most candy I can. I mean, it's Halloween. And so I'd be like, come on guys, let's go. Like running to the next house and they're like walking behind. I'm like, what are you doing? We only have a limited amount of time. Last year, we didn't have many trick or treaters. And I don't know why, because like that was one of the climax points of my childhood was going trick or treating. It's so much fun. And I don't know how you guys, oops, I stabbed it. But I use pillowcases, because I mean, that was the best way to get the most candy. Because like those little tiny baskets, they didn't hold anything. And I'd have to go back by my house and like drop it off. And I'm like, this is just too much work. I'd rather just carry it all and get it all at once instead of like taking these trips back, because I'm wasting time. Those are a few stories from my childhood I remember from Halloween. I know I carved pumpkins more when I was a kid. I'm not, I don't know why I haven't done it as much as I've gotten older. But this is my first pumpkin I've carved by myself and in like a few years. Cause we decorate our house for Halloween. We just wouldn't do pumpkins cause I usually had a ton of homework. I was really busy with school. This circle is not straight. Oops. Oh, look, it's coming off. Uh. I dropped the seed. It's beautiful. Well, I forgot how messy your hands get. Anyway, the top is off. So now it's just time to scoop it out. Now, I always see when I like see other people do videos on it, because I've watched a few on YouTube. I just about threw a seed off the table. Oops. Okay. When I see other people do it, like, they don't use their hand to scoop out pumpkins. They use some kind of scoop. And I mean, yeah, you can. But it's like, it's more fun when you just stick your hand in there and go for it. Like, you wouldn't have the sensation of digging out the guts if you're just using a scoop. It's just like a spoon. It's like you're eating a bowl of soup and you're just kind of pulling it out and you're like, eh, cool, I'm eating it, but I don't get the feeling of yanking this thing out. So I don't think I said, but I have decided on a design. It took me like a week because I kept going between different options. And I was like, well, do I want to do this or do I want to do this? And I didn't decide until like five minutes before I started this video what I'm going to do. But yeah, you guys will see once I start carving. But right now I'm just emptying it out. Pumpkin carving is a really weird thing. It's like, there's a lot of vegetables like corn, green beans, 
stuff like that. And then there's pumpkins, and they're a vegetable too. But, like, no one carves corn, no one carves green beans, and pumpkins are like seasonal things, like, known for Halloween and stuff. Everyone carves them, like, why don't we carve watermelons? Why is that not a thing? Carve watermelons 2017, get that trending. But anyway, yeah. Like, see, people who just don't stick their hand in, they don't know what this feels like right now. What fun is that? I can't see like half of what I'm doing right now. And my top is really big. It's actually one of the bigger pumpkins I've carved and it's pretty cool. I think I got it from Publix. But, oh, that was nice. I kind of cut this weird at an angle. Like the opening, it's not straight. It's like angled and I didn't mean to do that. But it just kind of happened. And this is so weird. Like the inside is just mostly hollow except for these seeds and stuff. And I should have my own pumpkin farm. Advocate for my own pumpkin farm and I'll just, it'll be a seasonal thing and I'll only have business like during the fall months, like pumpkin spice lattes and all that, am I right? No, really, I'm just kidding, I don't like Starbucks. Don't attack me, I don't like Starbucks. I don't like coffee, I don't like Nutella. Say whatever you'd like, I don't like any of those things. But, this is a video about pumpkin carving. Why am I getting the trivial things about what I like and dislike? Oh man, I dropped a seed. Maybe that's why people use scoops, because this is actually kind of getting harder now to get out of here. And I'm just like using my fingernails. Hmm, I'm gonna use a scoop. How does this work? Oh, wow, wow. Wowie, I see why people use that. That was a lot more efficient than what I was just doing. So what are you guys doing for Halloween? How do you celebrate? Do you go out and scare little children? Do you sit at home and binge watch Stranger Things? What do you guys do? Whoa. When I was younger, I used to go trick-or-treating, which I mean, other people did. So that's not really a weird thing. But now that I'm older, everyone's like, you're too old for trick-or-treating. And I mean, yeah, I agree. I don't go trick-or-treating anymore. Which kind of sucks, because it's like free candy. But I, I think that the last two years, my friends had a Halloween party. So I go over to the house and that's our Halloween. But this year, I'm not doing anything. I have, I guess I'm gonna come home and I'm gonna look at my nicely carved pumpkin. And I'm going to, I made some pumpkin chocolate chip cookies last night and they're amazing. I'll eat those. I'll play with my dogs and I'll watch horror movies. And honestly, I'm pretty content with that. But no, okay, so the craziest thing. So we gave out candy last year. We had a total of 10 people from like six to nine that night. 10 people. I don't know, like, are parents discouraging kids to trick or treat? But like, that's a tradition. Don't you want to have those fond memories of running around as a kid, like crazily in some weird costume that was really uncomfortable and depending on the weather that night, either you were sweating or you were freezing to death? I mean, that's what Halloween's all about. That's the spirit of Halloween. I guess I'm thinking about this now. I should probably just scoop, like scrape it off the sides and then scrape it out because I think I'm taking a lot longer than I should. I have this one memory. I don't remember how long ago it was. It's like three years ago, but I was in marching band. And so we had a game then at Halloween, which was really sad because I was like, oh. So instead of like all the normal kids going to parties or something on a Friday night, I was at my high school in the stands for Halloween. But the thing was, they were like, I mean, yeah, it kind of sucks you're here, but you can wear your costume because it is Halloween. And we're like, yeah, cool. So I come in my costume. We're all sitting there. Everyone's having a good time because I mean, it's Halloween. And we get outside and we're in the stands and it's freezing. Like, it's not just cold, it's like freezing. It's raining, the wind's blowing, temperature is really low, I don't remember what. And we're out there trying to play instruments, cheering on the football team, and no one was having a good time just because it was so cold. And we ended up getting to go home early that night because it was so miserable. 
but my, the best part, of, my best memory of that. So we're on the stands playing, and here's like our football field, and there's the photographer trying to film the game, and there's like a little tent set up around him. And so the wind is so hard, it picks up this tent, blows it, knocks over all his camera equipment on his table, and then knocks him over. And then they're like, hmm, maybe it's a little windy. Maybe you guys shouldn't be out here. And I was like, you think? So that's how I got to go home early that night. I don't remember what I did the rest of that night. I just remember that pretty much, because, you know, that sticks out a little. It looks like most of my pumpkin is carved out. So now this thing should be able to fit back on top. I have memories, fond memories of when I was younger and my dad would carve it with me and we'd sit out there when I was really young and he'd do most of the cutting stuff and I'd draw the design or find the design or whatever. And then I would do all like the hand scooping out. And I see why these scoops are handy now, evidently, because that would have taken me a lot longer. Okay, so now it's time for me to draw my design and as I was carving out my pumpkin, I realized I didn't even give it a name. Hmm. I don't know a good name. What's a good old name? I don't know which side to draw on either. I think I'm going to do this side. What name should I give it? How about Geraldine? Geraldine the old pumpkin. Okay, so I got my phone. I'm, I was going to kneel, but then, like, you won't even see me. So I guess I'm going to stand. This is gonna be like super awkward to draw on, but I will try my best. Doing a nice big old circle. This is so weird to draw on a pumpkin because it has like all the ridges in it. Oh gosh, that is awful. I did not just draw that. Oh my goodness, this is really hard to draw on. Oh, this is so bad. It's gonna make a ton of black smudges because I keep messing up. Oh, that was a bad line. Oh, I drew it too big. Hmm, well that's a problem. Okay, I'm gonna have to erase some of my lines. So what do you guys do for Halloween? Like what traditions do you have? Or what weird memories do you guys have from being younger? I'm not using a stencil. Disclose, disclose, disclaimer. I was like discloser. Disclaimer, I am not using a stencil. This is just me eyeballing it off this design I found online. Oh, you can't even see my line because I've erased it so much. Oh, I messed up again. 95% of this video is just gonna be going, oh, I messed up, oh, I messed up again. Oh no, I messed up again. Oh gosh, it looks so derpy. Hmm, how do people like, you know those master carvers, like when I was looking up designs, I saw a ton of like awesome carvings. It was like, they do like half shading, if you know what I mean? Like, so the light shines through, but they don't carve it all the way through. I'm like, how do you do this? I don't understand the master, the master, the art. The art of the pumpkin, there we go. I'm having a hard time with this pumpkin, if you can probably tell from my commentary, because it's very few, it's very little, because I'm very focused on doing well on this pumpkin. I'm, I'll be giving some hints throughout the video, and maybe if you guys can get, guess my design before I reveal it, I will give you a shout out in my next, hmm, one of my social media accounts. I'm not sure which one yet. One clue is it's, kind of related to a game, like a video game I play that I've talked about in previous social media posts. And I own it. Well, that's kind of a duh. I own a game I like to play. Well, yeah, of course you do. And it's kind of like a fantasy world. And you can choose your creature, per se, that you want to be. And it's kind of violent. <laughs> Like I said, it's fantasy. That's a big hint. I think it's time to start carving. Okay, so this came with two saws, and I'm not sure why, unless they just break easily. Which, I mean, I'm probably going to figure this out soon enough, but... Okay, guys, so I was... I just finished carving, and I realized my camera stopped recording. So, so I was going to show you my finished pumpkin, since I finished it now. And it is a dragon. So thank you all for joining me for my pumpkin carving video for Halloween. And happy Halloween, everybody.